Good morning, folks. We are just focused on space weather today. We had a couple notable events, and there appears to be a filament destabilizing that I need to keep an eye on here, so let us quickly run through the happenings of the last 24 hours on our star. We begin with the solar flare, an M9.6 event, nearly X-class. But there's some good news. It was impulsive. It was over at the limb. You will recall that impulsive flares often do not produce coronal mass ejections, and that was the case here. The flare occurred wholly within the umbral magnetic fields above the incoming active region on the south, and even if the plasma motion had not been confined to the corona, there's little chance the CME would have been wide enough to impact Earth. But we will be keeping an eye on this region as it turns into face our planet over the next few days. We should expect at least the potential for this large active region to have further activity at those sunspots and at the plasma filaments out ahead of them. Up next, focus on the right side. Do you see the coronal ripple, indicating a large CME erupted just over the limb on the far side of the sun? This was basically at the same time as the large flare we just saw, just on the other side of our star, releasing a sizable blast that is aimed away from the Earth. SOHO confirms. So we've got incoming sunspots, plasma filaments, the southern coronal holes that should be relevant over the next couple of days, and I am off to keep an eye on one of those filaments facing Earth on the south, which again appears to be destabilizing here this morning. Don't forget to check out the links below the video and subscribe to our e-magazine. Latest issue seems to be your favorite so far based on the comments. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.